Welcome back to a new AI tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a language translation app using Streamlit and LangChain. You can see the app that we are going to create from the screen right now. Let's start coding. Visual Studio Code is going to be the code editor that I will be using in this video, but you can use any code editor that you want. I'm going to close this welcome page and I'm going to create something like translator app.py and we can start coding it. Firstly, we need to do like define two lists for source language and target language. Next up, what we need to do is we need to define a prompt like take this source language and turn it into the target language. Next up, we need to define a function for the translation like translation function and we are going to put a translate button which is going to be doing the operation when we hit that and if button is clicked we are going to create a download button for the translated text so this is going to be our app outline and we can directly start decoding that so i will say import streamlit as st for the web app and i will say from link chain large language models import open ai Next up, I'm going to say large language model. I'm going to initialize it like OpenAI. And we can directly create it like this. I'm going to give our app a title like AI Translator. And we can say streamlit.divider for making it look better. Next up, we are going to take an input text from user. Like it's going to be the text user wants to translate. I will say input text and it's going to be echo to the streamlit text area enter the text you want to translate we can type it like this and I'm going to say like source language and I will use a select box for this I will say select source language you can add any language that you want in here. I'm not going to include a lot, but you can add anything. Like it's complete up to you. I will say English, Spanish, French, and German. This is going to be my list for this one. And I'm going to copy that, the entire line, like this. And I will say, in a new line like it's going to be the target language in here I'm going to change it to target language and in here I will say select the target language the other things are going to be same so user can select the languages from here now we are going to define a function to the translation I will say define translate text and it's going to take input text source language and target language as inputs we are going to say from here like prompt is going to be we are going to use an f string in here translate this from i will say source language in here to we will say target language and next up we are going to give the input text like in here input text so this is going to be our prompt for the language model and next up we are going to save the translation like large language model prompt now we can say return translation great so our translation logic is ready now we are going to create the button for translation i will say if streamlit button translate this both creates the translate button and it says if this button is clicked in here like if the user is going to click on this it's going to work so firstly before the if i'm going to write the else like streamlit write please enter some text to translate so in here we handle a situation where input text is empty and translate button is clicked 
And in here for the if side of this, like it's going to be inside this if, and I will say like if input text like this. Now I'm going to say, actually we don't need this much space. We can add them when we are coding. I will say like translation is going to be translate text and we are going to give input text and next we are going to give the source language and we are going to give target language like this and next up what we are going to say is I'm going to say streamlit.write translation and I'm going to give the translation in here like this next we are going to create a download button I want to add a download button that if user clicks on that it's going to download the translation in txt format so I will say streamlit download button label is going to be download translation as txt file next up I'm going to give the data like translation in here I'm going to give the file name like translation.txt and we can say like mime text plane so our streamlit app is ready right now I'm going to save this file and next before running this application we need to pass API key in here so you can either do API key in here or I don't want to do like API key in here I'm going to say from terminal export openAI API key and I'm going to say EQ next up I'm going to press my API key in here and I will press enter but I'm not going to show you my API key you can type I'm going to type it in here OpenAI API Playground to the Google and it's going to get you to the website where you can get your API key it's free to create an API key and when you create your account on OpenAI API platform they gift you five dollars you can use that with creating an API key for free and it should be starting with something like SK and I'm going to be pasting my key and then I'm going to be re-recording for the running this streamlit app we just created okay now it's ready what I'm going to do is I will say streamlit run translator app.py and I'm going to make this run like this and a new page in my browser opened on this address if it doesn't happening on you you can just copy this and paste it in your browser for seeing the web app we just created or you can just go from here like using command and click for Mac or control plus click for the Windows and I'm going to be re-recording in this web address right now okay we have the AI translator in here it seems pretty good and we can change the app settings from the settings from here like we can set to the light dim or we can set to the wide mode completely up to you up to your preferences and we have our divider in here we can see the enter the text you want to translate we have the select the source language select the target language let's test that like I'm going to select German firstly English to German and I'm going to say like today is going to be a beautiful day like we can do that and I'm going to hit the translate button and here we can see the translation great now I'm going to try to download translation as txt file and it works smoothly we have this button working too let's try something else select the source language as German select the target language as English the only word I know is hello which means hello let's see the translation we have the translation like this great then I'm going to select the English I'm going to select the target language as French right now I'm going to say like I am planning to visit Asia next year let's see the translation and actually we can check if it's correct by taking this pasting in here selecting the source language as French and target language as English and it says I plan to visit Asia next year so we have a translation web app ready that we can use perfectly let's go back to the code editor and summarize the code so in here I'm going to be deleting these comments since we don't need them anymore we import streamlit as st for the web app we import openai from langchain for our language model 
Then we initialize the open AI like this. We give our app a title like AI translator. We use a divider after that for making the app look better. Next, we create a text area as input text and we take the input from the user like this, enter the text you want to translate. Next up, we say source language and we use a select box. We say select the source language. We give a list. Remember, you can extend this list and add any language that you want. We do the same for the target language with the select target language. Next up, we define the function for the translation. In here, we are passing the input text, source language and target language to our function like this. We are passing these variables in here, but we set it like this in here. We create a prompt like translate this from source language to target language and we give the input text. Then we use our language model to do the translation with the prompt and we return the translation in here. Next, we say create a button named translate and if that button is applied, then make this work. And in here we say if input text is not valid, like there is no text in the input text, then write please enter some text to translate. And if there is text in input text, then do the translation by using this function with these variables. And we display the translation in here. And also we add a download button for user to download the translation in a txt format with the mime file name of translation.txt. You can change this to anything that you want and with the label download translation as a txt file. So this is it for our translation app. Thanks for watching. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching this tutorial on Langchain and Streamlit. I have a playlist about AI and Langchain tutorials where I have more than 10 videos just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description. Also, I'm sharing a new video every week about data science. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.